The closest village was only 11 miles away. Yet in the thick jungle and deep mud of the Osmot coast, the trek for help took nearly a day. When Dutch authorities finally learned of the accident, a full-scale search was launched immediately. Searchers combed over coastal rivers and seemingly endless spans of dense jungle shoreline. The region below was hostile and forbidding. The coastline was a muddy swamp with estuaries where crocodiles prowled. Beyond lay spongy tangles of sago palms and mangroves, alive with poisonous snakes, scorpions, and swarms of mosquitoes. The Osmot had named their home the Land of Lapping Death. Suddenly, a miracle. A flying boat had found Rene Wassing, still clinging to the capsized catamaran more than 20 miles out to sea. Stunned and exhausted, Wassing told reporters of the ordeal. He had tried unsuccessfully to dissuade Michael from attempting the swim to shore. Michael's last words were, I think I can make it. Now the massive search efforts concentrated on Michael. The news that his son was lost had taken three days to reach Governor Rockefeller. Stunned and disoriented, he tried his best to deal with an endless onslaught of questions. I'm headed out there. Hopefully I'll find him before we get there, but to be there uh, when they do find him, so if there's anything I can do, I will. In New Guinea, the news was not good. No trace of Michael had yet been found. For the native Osmot, the spectacle of the search was awesome and overwhelming. They had never seen anything like it. Several more days of searching yielded nothing. A pale and haggard father had almost given up hope. Then, the first clue. The red gasoline can that Michael used for extra buoyancy was found at sea. It was strong evidence that Michael had drowned but at the same time, it offered a faint glimmer of hope. 5,000 natives began searching up and down the New Guinea coast, looking for any other trace of Michael. Nothing was found. After nearly two weeks, the search for Michael Rockefeller was ended. For an agonized father returning home, the official conclusion seemed unavoidable. Michael Rockefeller had drowned at sea. Yet it was not long before speculation began that perhaps somewhere in the jungle, Michael might still be alive. New York City, 1968. Seven years after Michael Rockefeller's disappearance, one man was led to begin a personal search for the missing Rockefeller. Milt Macklin, a writer and magazine editor, was met in his office by a secretive man who would call himself only Donahue. Donahue told Macklin that several months before, on a tiny island called Kanaku, he had seen and talked with Michael Rockefeller. Intrigued with the story, Macklin made plans to go to New Guinea. Macklin's information from Donahue was sketchy, but he had decided to follow the difficult route. According to Donahue's story, Rockefeller was picked up by a native war party and taken by canoe on a thousand mile journey to the Trobriand Islands. As Macklin made his way through the jungle, he began to understand Michael's attraction to its primitive beauty. After several days' travel, Macklin reached a major village of the Trobriands. A local chief knew of Kanapu Island and described its general location. 
It was a long journey by native standards, but at last Macklin's destination seemed within reach. By hired boat, Macklin sailed for Canapu. Even on the best local charts, it was but a speck. Finally, the island appeared, like a vision from a storybook. After a long and tiring journey, Milt Macklin approached his destination with hopeful expectation. The island was a paradise, a beautiful tropical refuge. It was also an eerie place. There were few signs of life. A careful search led finally to a makeshift shelter. The hut was abandoned. There was no sign of Michael Rockefeller. Discouraged and disappointed, Milt Macklin gave up his Canapu search. The fate of Michael Rockefeller remained a mystery. Yet for Macklin, the unsuccessful search had raised many questions. Was the Donahue story simply a cruel hoax, or did it bear some element of truth? <laughs> 